Now, answering your questions about the law and legal issues. This is Legal Break with attorney Gary Bruce. Maureen Akers here with Gary. Gary, thanks so much for joining us today. Good to be here again. Well, we are talking about when to hire an attorney and, um, you know, I guess the qualities in attorney and seeking, um, possibly seeking a second opinion. But the first question is, what should you look for when searching for a lawyer? Wow. Well, I think you <laughs> want to find someone who has experience and competence in the area that you're looking to do. Mm -hmm. So you don't hire me to do a will necessarily, you know. Mm -hmm. So find somebody who's in that area and special, maybe not specializes, but has a lot of experience in that area. And then look for somebody you're comfortable with, you know. Mm -hmm. You ought to meet the lawyer. You ought to know what you're getting involved in. It's a contractual relationship. You know, mm -hmm. you're not getting married. You're getting, although that may be a contractual <laughs> relationship too, but you know, it's supposed to be, you should know what, what the relationship's going to be. What's right. expected of you, what's expected of the lawyer, what, what your goals are and what you hope to achieve. Mm -hmm. So that needs to take place really with the lawyer in a, in a personal meeting, I feel like. Right. But, Right. So I don't know. Feel comfortable. Trust your gut. Absolutely. So what are your rights when dealing with an attorney? Should you, I guess, feel like you might need a second opinion? How does that work? Uh, well, your rights will be defined really by the contractual terms we talked about. Mm -hmm. But the, uh, and, uh, you know, but it needs to work. I mm -hmm. tell people all the time, if, if there's something I'm not doing right, call me. Let's sit down and talk about it. Mm -hmm. And that should be the relationship, I think you should be comfortable with in it. If you don't have that kind of relationship, if you don't get responsiveness, if you don't have the opportunity to be informed, you feel like things are dragging, and they do sometimes just in the natural course of the law. Right. You know, that's just the way it is. But if you feel like you need to talk to them, they ought to be there available to you. It, it, at that point, you are entitled to a second opinion. And the law has changed really in recent years on this regard. You didn't used to have that option without firing the lawyer. and. The lawyer would say, well, I can't get involved because you've already got another lawyer. But okay. now I think the law has said, look, you know, you're entitled. You should be able to have a second opinion. Normally, we send people back. Say, look, set up a meeting. Talk to them. Talk work to it them. out. Yeah. They've already got all this invested in time. Right. Make sure it's the right thing to do to switch horses midstream. But sometimes it really is. Right. It's really the right thing to do. So, yeah, so get a second opinion if you feel like you need it. If you feel like you need it, right? And then going back to on your first search for an attorney, make sure it's somebody you feel like you can trust and you can have that personal meeting with them and, and establish that relationship. Well, I right. hope so, like you would your doctor or your minister. It's somebody you connect with. Yeah, so, very good. Anyway, thank okay. you. Gary Bruce Law, thank you so much for joining us today, Gary, and we'll look forward to seeing you in the very next legal break.